Former ADF leader Jamil Mukulu has sued the state for forcing him to eat pork and drink alcohol. Uh, Jamil Mukulu was forced to eat pork. He was forced to drink uh, uh, alcohol. And from the entertainment industry, Gravity Omotuju has attacked Bobby Wine. Stand by for the details. <laughs> Well, this is The Buzz UG, and uh, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the Minister of Health, Dr. Ruth Acheng, has announced the death of another health worker, Nabisubi Margaret, who succumbed to Ebola in Fort Porto. Well, according to the minister, Margaret was 58 years and she's now the fourth health worker lost in the current Ebola outbreak right here in Uganda. Very painful. Usually in a war at the front line, as somebody said, they, they are usually casualties. But it is important that we protect the health workers. It is also important for health workers to understand that in their normal day-to-day -day routine work, they need to protect themselves because we don't know what a patient will come with. May her soul rest in peace. Now, after his promotion to the rank of Geno, President Museveni's son, Geno Mohozi Kanerugaba, has revealed that there are going to be celebrations on the streets of Kampala. It seems he's so happy and grateful to his father for giving him this new rank of Jeno. That's really nice. Congratulations to you, Jeno Mohozi. Well, Aringa South Member of Parliament, Horrible York Adria, who punched a police officer at Parliament last week during the Iyala elections, has been arrested. Horrible Adria had been summoned by police at CID in Chibuli, but he told police that he cannot make it because he's organizing a wedding ceremony. That's when police started on the process of arresting him and he was finally apprehended last night. Now, former ADF leader Jamil Mukulu has sued the state over infringing upon his rights. According to his lawyer, Jamil was tortured, forced to eat pork and drink alcohol, and yet they know very well the guy is a Muslim. There are several other things which we have included in our application in accordance to our client. For instance, his right to freedom from torture, inhuman uh, degradation and all that, we have also included the same. Two, right to fair hearing and speedy trial. We realized that he was extradited in 2015. Since then, his trial has never proceeded. Uh, Jamil Mukul was forced to eat pork. He was forced to drink uh, or to take uh, uh, alcohol, well knowing that he's a Muslim and he is not supposed to do the same or take the same. Another important aspect is right to own property. When he was arrested in Tanzania and being brought to Uganda, he had money on him and other properties, for example, his camera and money arranging to uh, 38,000 US dollars. That was also taken. Well, Gravity Omotuju has accused Bobby Wine of not being supportive to the young generation in the entertainment industry. Gravity, in an interview with Case from Next Media, said Bobby Wine did not post on his social media platforms about his recent concert at Cricket Oval, something that hurt him so big time. <laughs> However, Gravity in the same interview said he's a very big fan and supporter of Bobby Wine musically and politically. But he said he has never been Bebe Cool's fan. Musically, Simani, 
Well, there you go. That is the latest update coming in from Gravity Omotuju's camp. I told you that you got the buzz, you got everything. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melan Zmino, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.